Hello friends, welcome to my channel Civil Smart. Today we are going to design a raft footing without beams. This is the condition we have to design according to this. We need to put our data in these pink shells. Then we will calculate the EX and EY eccentricity due to these all loads on the foundation. Next is the soil pressure at different points will be calculated. And in these we have to assume the strip in the X and Y direction. According to that we will calculate the moment. Next is the depth criteria. You need to find the depth criteria by two way shear check at different points at critical points for which after which we will calculate the draft putting depth and finally the reinforcement in x direction and the y direction will be calculated right so let's start okay what we have given that the design of the raft foundation according to that according to your data you just need to fill your data in these cells and all the formulas have been inserted here and that will give you the accurate result right so design the raft footing having the column size all the size of the columns are same 300 by 300 net bearing capacity is 65 kN per meter square because raft footing where we have the bearing capacity is very much low and the loads are very much heavy then we will go for the raft footing right we all know this so center to center distance between the columns in x direction is 7 meter and in y direction is 6 meter and projection 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 this projection in all around is 0.3 meter you can choose according to your condition i use fck and fi is 415 now let's start fck is 15 fy is 415 column size b is 300 and d is also 300 300 by 300 is column say bearing capacity is 65 kN per meter square in x direction is 7 meter center to center distance and in y direction is 6 meter right and projection all around is 0.3 meter now you have to fill the data according to your structure load we have we are going to design a raft foundation for 12 columns right so this is grade AA, BB and CC you have to uh, notice that the grid is very important to find the column or the raft footing sizes right so this grid is 1 1 2 2 3 3 and 4 4 so you need to notice these grid we will use it accordingly so column 1 1 if you choose 500 kN column 2 you need to see this uh, data according to the changes occurring 1500 is at column 2 column 3 is also 1500 column 4 is 500 column 5 is 600 column 6 is 2000 kN column 7 is also 2000 kN column 8 is 1200 kN column this one this column 9 is 550 column 10 is 1200 kN column 11 is also 1200 and column 12 is 550 right this is our data you can choose according to your data that load come from the structure so total dead load unfactored load is comes out total calculation of all the loads is 13300 kN all the loads right so next is the eccentricity along the acceleration is obtained by taking the movement of all the column loads about the grid 1 1 you need to take the movement of all the loads in x direction about 1 1 it will give the ex right eccentricity in x direction so total x bar is 10.974 and ex is the x bar minus distance from the center point this o is the center point and due to all these loads the particular point where the ex existing load will act of the route footing will ex from the x direction and ey from y direction so we have to find the ex value so ex is being calculated as 0.474 right from the this point o and same if you want to find the eccentricity along the y direction is obtained by taking movement along column loads about grid cc so if you want to find the eccentricity in y direction you need to take the movement about this grid cc so y bar is 6.226 so ey is y bar minus the distance from the center point right distance from 0.2 to 6 this is ey in y direction so moment of inertia in x direction if you want to find the moment of inertia in i i x x so this will become a depth right 
so this is b d cube over 12 this will come out and if you want to find out the in i y y y direction so it will become a depth then this one this b d cube over 12 right area of the foundation has been calculated 21.6 into 12.6 right formulas are over there okay now the moment about the x axis you have to find the moment about x axis so load into the perpendicular distance of y ey you have to find p into ey will give the mx and if you want to find the moment about y axis my so you need to take p into the perpendicular distance is ex right so all these have been calculated p by a has been calculated now the soil pressure at different points so this is the formula p by a plus minus m by m y by i y into x bar plus minus m x by i x into y bar so at corner point a4 if you want to choose the a4 this one is a4 right so a4 the soil pressure you need to calculate the soil pressure at a4 by this formula right in this a4 the x will be positive and y will also be positive right so that positive sign will be over there in this formula p by a the p by a been taken from here right m m y by i y we have already calculated m y by i y into x bar this is x bar plus minus m x by i x into y bar so it should be less than soil bearing capacity that is okay right next is c4 the same is for c4 now this one x is positive and y is negative you can see the x is positive y is negative the same is for the different uh, different points where the soil pressure at different points you have to calculate and the thing is should be noticed that it should be less than the soil bearing capacity so all points are less than the soil bearing capacity if this is greater than soil bearing capacity and at any particular point you need to increase the sbc by different methods or you need to go deeper that where the soil bearing capacity is increased right now the next thing is very important in the x direction the raft is divided in three strips three equivalent beams right beam aa bb and cc you need to see that this aa this one is bb and this cc you have to divide in three equivalent strips right so the distance will be the center to center distance is six meter so b strip will be six meter and the balance is 3.3 meter is the c strip and 3.3 meter from here is the aa strip so this was the width of the strip soil pressure soil pressure at beam aa it's sigma a4 this one is sigma a4 right now the soil pressure at bb is sigma a4 and sigma b4 the average we have to take right at the same for cc sigma c4 and sigma b4 this is sigma b4 and sigma c4 you have to take the soil pressure wave which we have calculated earlier the average of two so we have find the soil pressure at different strips now you have to find the bending moment by taking the coefficient 1 by 10 and the l as center to center distance between the columns so center to center distance between the column is 7 meter so according to that for strip aa the soil pressure into the l square is 7 square by 10 and the same is for strip now in the y direction the raft is divided into two strips two equivalent beams the this 2 2 and 3 3 is same and 1 1 and 4 4 is same so two equivalent beams so same is there so bending moment will be calculated by the coefficient 1 by 8 and and l as the center column distance right for strip 4 4 this for 4 4 w l square by 4 4 w l square this one is the sigma a4 soil uh, pressure at this particular point into l square distance between the between this particular point right so we have calculated the bending moment in y direction and in x direction so next is very important thing you have to calculate the two-way shear check for the column which will give the depth criteria so two-way shear check will be calculated at critical sections and the critical section will be at this corner point you will take this particular column at this particular point where the this critical section is like this and at the center of the column you need you will take three different conditions so at this point if you will find the load at point column c1 the load is there at column c1 
the parameter you need to find parameter is like this sent from the corner this distance is 0.3 right and 300 is the size of the column so 0.15 is the half right this is 450 plus 0.5d you, we have already know that at distance d by 2 from the column face of the column the two-way shear will be act according to that so d is 1 0.5.5 d is 1 so finally the d will be calculated because this is the formula tau c is 0.25 square root fck 0.97 so you need to calculate it by the this ad square plus bd minus c to find and it is has been calculated now a2 in this point a2 this is the critical section so you need 4, 450 plus 0.5d 450 plus 0.5d right 0.5 or 0.5 1d and d so d is 2 here so this is the 1819 the same ad square plus bd coefficient a b and c will be calculated and d will be calculated automatically right for column b2 at the center column you need to find the critical section so at this point d d d and d that d is 4 so d is being calculated 743 what will be happen that maximum of these three will be taken as the effective depth so effective depth is 820 assume bar dia if you will assume as 20 mm the bar dia and 50 mm is the effective cover so 880 is the total depth of the raft footing so maximum movement in x direction you need to calculate the reinforcement so maximum movement in x direction is 296 it will be taken by this actual sheet 296 factor movement we have to give the factor movement for which we, we need to design b is 1000 mm for which we design pt has been calculated by this formula and ast required is calculated minimum area still you need to choose your data if you choose 20 mm so 20 mm 140 mm center to center in x direction in top and bottom right same as in y direction mu is calculated pt has been calculated if you choose 16 mm so 16 mm 120 mm top and bottom in y direction right this is the y direction we have calculated the reinforcement depth of the footing and the eccentricity if we go the different column loads different column loads like this so you will see ex and ey value will be changed ix iy will change mx change yeah this one is that redesign so you need to increase the sbc or you have to go to deeper there right so this is 1500 this one is 500 if you will change the fck value like m25 you will find that the depth is being changed now the effective depth required is 760 mm right so reinforcement will be changed and according to the y direction so friend this is the raft footing design sheet without beams and this is for the 12 columns so according to that you need to put your data and it will give the eccentricity in ex and ey direction mx and my will be calculated according to soil pressure at different points need to calculate it it should be less than the sbc and the strips the same you have to divide in three strips in x direction and y direction and you need to check the two-way shear check according to this the depth effective depth will be calculated and for which finally overall depth you need to find out and in x direction and y direction you need to get the reinforcement detail so friend this is the sheet for the raft footing design without beams if you want this sheet you want you have to mail me or whatsapp me and please subscribe this channel for more design videos thanks for